hello so we have come to a very important topic called as by metallic thermometers of your fourth unit let's see the definition of by metallic thermometers the by metallic thermometer uses the by metallic strip which converts the temperature into the mechanical displacement the working of the by metallic strip depends on the thermal expansion property of the metal the thermal expansion is a tendency of the metal in which the volume of metal changes with the variation in temperature yes so moving into the diagram of by metallic thermometers and the parts of it every metal has a different temperature coefficient the temperature coefficient shows the relationship between the change in the physical dimension of the metal and the temperature that causes it the expansion or the contraction of the metal depends on the temperature coefficient that is at the same temperature the metals have different changes in the physical dimension now this is a diagram which tells about the by metallic thermometers you have a wire you have a welded you have a base to it and you also have a contact with another wire and the strip which makes a difference now next is we'll move on to the working principle the working principle of by metallic thermometer depends on the two fundamental properties of the metal the metal has a property of thermal expansion that is the metal expand and contract concerning the temperature and the temperature coefficient of all the metal are not same the expansion or the contraction of metals is different at the same temperature so coming into the construction of the by metallic thermometers the strip is constructed by bonding together two thin strips of metals the metals are joined together at one end with the help of the welding and the bonding is kept in such a way that there is no relative motion between two metals the physical dimension of the metals varies with variation in temperature since the bimetallic strips of the thermometer is constructed with different metals thereby the length of the metals changes at different rates here when the temperature increases the strip bends towards the metal which has low temperature coefficient and when the temperature decreases the strip bend towards the metal which has high temperature coefficient now you have a figure shown that has a bimetallic strip in the form of a straight cantilever beam the strip fixed at one end and deflects at the other end the range of the deflection of the bimetallic strip depends on the type of metals which is used for construction the deflection of the metal is directly proportional to the length of the strip and the variation of the temperature and they are inversely proportional to the thickness of the strips here considering the bimetallic strip is made of two different metals that is metal a and b both the metals have different temperature coefficient the t2 and t1 shows variation of temperature which causes the expansion of the strip now you have small equations to remember in this thermometer which is the value of r where t is the total thickness of the strip n is the ratio of the moduli of elasticity which is given by eb by ea m the ratio of thickness t2 minus t1 or t2 and t1 the change in temperature tab is the thickness of metal a and b and alpha a and alpha b the thermal coefficient of expansion of metal a and b i think uh, that is not a and ab it is alpha a and alpha b to be noted the expansion causes the strip to move in the uniform circular arc the radius of the arm is given by the formula r is equal to the above equation shows that the strip bent towards the metals which has a low temperature coefficient when the temperature increases and the inverse will happen when the temperature decreases 
Yes, in this, let us consider the strip is fixed at one end and free to move with the other end. When the temperature surrounding the strip vary, the strip bent towards the circular arc. Consider the strip is made of metal having thickness T2. So, the formula goes on like R plus T by T2 by R is equal to the expanded length of strip A divided by expanded length of strip B and it is given by the formula. If one of the metals have the very small temperature coefficient, then the R is given by T divided by 2 alpha A T2 minus T1. The above equation shows that if one end of the metal is fixed, the other deflection of the free end of the metal shows the variation of the temperature. Now, you have the types of bimetallic strips. The linear strip shows the small deflection. If the length of the strip increases, then the size of thermometer also increases. For keeping the size of thermometer in the mag manageable limit, the helical or the spherical strip is used to make the thermometer. Now, the first type is the spiral strip by metallic thermometer, and this is the diagram which depicts the spiral type. When we see, we can say that the spiral is made of two different metals and you have a bimetallic strip and a temperature scale which works with the help of a pointer. Now the second type is a helical type. Now this is how it's going to be. You have a bulb fixed with a bimetallic helix and a pointer to show the temperature difference in the scale. Now moving on to the advantages, disadvantages and the applications. The advantages, the thermometer is very simple in construction. It is robust and less expensive. The major disadvantages, the thermometer gives less accurate result while measuring the low temperature. And the application is, the bimetallic thermometer is used in household devices like oven, a conditioner and an industrial apparatus like to find these hot wires, heater, tempering tanks, etc. for measuring the temperature. With this, we have come to an end of bimetallic thermometers. This is also a very important topic. Do study it for any queries. Contact. Thank you.